Hey Busy Bees, September is officially over and we're already a few days into October. Where has the time gone? Just yesterday I was pregnant and now my baby is almost six months old. I can't believe the year is almost over, but September was quite a whirlwind of a month for us, so I wanted to share some of my favorite things. September, like I said, was a whirlwind. We experienced a birthday earthquakes, fires, a monsoon, we had gophers, a rat problem, just everything that comes with moving to a new place we experience, but it's an adventure like I mentioned before, so I am embracing all of the changes. If you guys love favorite videos, please be sure to let me know by giving this video a big thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe for more videos and I'll go ahead and get started with one of my favorite snacks for the month. So we took two road trips this month, one to move down to LA and then one to go back home for a wedding and each time I wanted to bring something that was fairly healthy, filling, and not too sugary. So I found these beef jerkies at Costco. I've been really enjoying beef jerky because uh, the protein keeps me full and this one doesn't have too much sugar at all and it's nice and thick. I tried a few different beef jerkies, uh, one from Pacific Gold and then the Epic kind and I didn't really like those. It just tasted kind of too sweet or just too much seasoning for me. But two other ones that I really enjoyed were from Trader Joe's and the Turkey Pale Ale Jerky from Whole Foods is also really excellent, but it's a little pricey. Uh, let's see. Cookbook wise, I am an avid cookbook collector. I love looking through cookbooks just because I draw so much inspiration from what people are putting together, flavor combinations, and one of my favorite authors uh, at the moment is Yotam Ottolenghi. So this book has been really inspiring for me because I'm trying to eat a lot more vegetables and he uses fresh veggies in almost all of his recipes. He even has like plenty and plenty more cookbook uh, which is all vegetables just made in different ways I know I get stuck in a rut where I usually steam roast or saute my vegetables but the recipes in here kind of integrate them into salads or use them in really interesting ways so if you guys are vegan or vegetarian I highly recommend you checking out his books. One of my favorite recipes from this book is the fennel cherry tomato crumble gratin. Ah, oh, that sounds so good, right? It's savory, there's cheese, thyme, uh, tomatoes, just everything that I already had in my pantry. So it was really easy to toss together. If you guys follow me on Instagram, uh, my Insta story at honeysucklebees, you'll see that I made this sweet potato rice pilaf and this, um, it was snap peas and haricot vert salad with fennel that was so fresh and we served it for one of our first dinner guests here at the new place and it was delicious, ah, healthy too. Please be sure to follow me on Instagram to see what I'm whipping up on a daily basis. All right, now let's talk about entertainment. This is also food related. Uh, we recently found this one series on Netflix called Let's Eat. It's a Korean drama that's based around food porn. Oh my gosh, every time I watch that show, my mouth just salivates and I want to go to K-Town and get all the food that they were eating. But as with a typical Korean drama, there was romance, thriller, comedy. It was just so much fun to watch and I was hooked. There were 16 episodes and I binge watched them in a span of like five days. I just sat in front of like, I couldn't wait to see what happened next. And it was so cute. The premise of the story is this girl living alone, someone had died in her apartment building and she just got really scared and worried. Uh, number one, that she'll die alone. And number two, that, you know, she's living alone. So she was scared for her safety, but she befriended her neighbors, one that she absolutely couldn't stand. And another one, which was someone that kind of acted like her little sister, a new tenant that moved in and they just formed this food club and that's where all the food porn came from. Oh, 
It starts out a little slow in the first episode, I must admit, but it gets really, really good. So if you guys have Netflix, be sure to check that out. Okay, moving on to hair care and skincare. I recently changed up my skincare routine down here just because the intensity of the sun um, in Southern California, I felt like I needed a lot more SPF. So I switched up and started using this Argan Oil Daily moisturizer with SPF 47 by Josie Marin. It goes on pretty thick, but I love how moisturizing it feels. And the best part of all is it's SPF 47, so I feel really protected. Um, I typically put it on in the beginning of the day, right before I put on my makeup. And then throughout the day, if I am out in the sun, I usually touch up with this mineral SPF brush on defense. This thing is great because it has a brush. All of the sunblock is down here and it's almost like a powder. I imagine this is kind of what um, Bare Essentials is like, where it has like SPF, except I love that this one is SPF 30. It's by Mineral Fusion. I got it at Whole Foods and I just kind of shake it and brush it on. In fact, I'm gonna do it right now. It actually helps with any shine too throughout the day. So I really like this. I just stick it in my bag and go. So one more thing that I have to mention about sunscreen is that um, you have to have at least 7% of zinc oxide. That's the only thing that really protects your skin from the sun. And this one I love because it has 20%. So I feel nice and protected. This one unfortunately only has 6.4, but Close enough, right? Now that's my daytime skincare moisturizer. At night, I was using this Andalou 1000 Roses Nightly Cream. And as you can see, I'm almost done with the jar. But when I moved down here, I just felt like my skin was really dry and it wasn't really cutting it. So I needed something to boost the moisturizing power. I was almost done with the jar, so I didn't wanna waste it, but I did a ton of research and I found this Cora's sleeping oil. Pretty much it's a 3D sculpting firming sleeping oil uh, with a black pine scent and it's 85% natural, which I love. All I do is add about two or three drops in my palm with the moisturizer and I just lather it up on my face and neck. And I'm telling you guys, it makes my skin feel so silky smooth and luxurious. I am in love with the combination of the two. I tried using just the sleeping oil alone um, when I first got it and again, it wasn't as smooth but the combination of the two I am loving how my skin feels especially since baby has been teething I'm waking up two to three times a night my skin just looks haggard and tired so this really kind of gives it a nice boost okay for hair care you guys I am totally at that stage postpartum where my hair is coming out in droves. I avoid washing my hair every day because hair just falls out in clumps like a horror movie. Every time I look at it, I'm like, ah, it's so sad, but I'm getting like a huge receding hairline right here. I'm losing so much hair in front, but you guys can't tell because I'm using an awesome product. This one by Oribe Rough Luxury Soft Molding Paste. And it's kind of like a waxy cream. It goes on really smooth. I just get a little bit, rub it with my fingers, and I'll just kind of smooth it over in my hair, just a few pieces, and it keeps it in place. So what I do is I just kind of brush a few of the hairs from the back in front, and then I'll just mold it like that. See, now it's covered and you can't even tell I'm going bald. It's pretty sad, but I have no idea how long this phase lasts. If you guys have been through it postpartum, losing hair, please let me know how long I can expect to continue losing hair because honestly, I don't have that much left. <laughs> All right, next up, you guys are always asking me where I get my tops, and to be honest, there are a range of places. My favorite places to shop are Madewell, Anthropology, Nordstrom's, J. Crew, um, and then anywhere that I can find something that calls my name. Recently, I bought a shirt from J. Crew, and it has everything that I love. 
This shirt right here, it has ruffles, stripes, and it's nice and preppy. I would say my style is pretty preppy uh, and romantic. I love anything with florals and stripes. So if there's something with an interesting combo between the two, you will see me buying it. I recently bought a ton of stuff for fall. Sweaters, I'm finding out, don't really work down here because it's warm, so I, Picked up a few essential, just like layering pieces, just short sleeves, striped tops and dresses. I would love to do like a fall outfit video. If you guys are interested, please comment below and let me know. Now moving on to the final, which is my favorite baby item. For my mommy viewers out there, this has been my latest find. It's a car seat cover and I love that it has these straps right here that attaches to the handlebar so it doesn't slip and Probably my favorite thing about this car seat cover is this curtain right here. You could snap the buttons together and um, it blacks out any light from the baby when she's sleeping and it's nice and thick. It's double layered. Um, there's a gray cotton cover and then at the bottom or on the other side, there's a pink blanket fleecy uh, layer that's super soft. <laughs> I love it. So I know that it's keeping her nice and warm. And then when we're going out, I'll just kind of undo this button right here and then peek in to see how she's doing. And I love how nice and thick it is because I feel like it's also keeping her warm at night when we go out or we go on walks or something. I don't feel like she's freezing because the one that I had before was just like a plain muslin one that wasn't really cutting it. I got that car seat cover on Amazon, so I will be sure to link all of the products that I featured in the description box below if you guys are interested in learning more. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have an amazing October. I am really looking forward to uh, experiencing October or fall in LA. At home last week when I went back, um, I just missed the morning dew and frost so much, and it was so awesome to see the grass kind of frosted in the morning. <sighs> I hope we get that here, but I doubt it since it's already still warm in like 80 degrees in October. Let me know what you're looking forward to most this month and I will see you guys in the next favorite video, but I will be back on Sunday for more recipes and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!